Hi there, it's Tuesday. It's day two of week 16 of 52 weeks of vlogging, and today we are going to recap the week in stupid because there is just so much of it. Number one, the CEO of Abercrombie and Fitch doesn't like fat people and goes so far in not liking fat people as to say that that's why they don't make clothes larger than a size 10. And that's why their ads all feature thin people because thin people are cool and cool people attract more cool people and the cool people are the people they want in their store. Apart from the general stupidity and craziness and prejudice and just overall what the F of that statement, there are quick Google image search will show you that the CEO of Abercrombie and Fitch is to cool attractive people what Hitler was to tall blondes as in not one of them basically the upshot is don't shop Abercrombie and Fitch and number two in this week of stupid girls don't want to do science so let's disguise it as English or drama this idea was proposed by a recent Scientific American blog and while yes I agree that in general the more different ways we can present information the more likely it is that we're going to retain the information and also the more likely it is that we're going to find it interesting this is a basic underlying principle of my homeschooling strategy by the way saying that girls will like science more if we disguise it as English or drama is kind of like saying boys only like the color blue and monster trucks as in it's stupid and more to the point that is not the reason that girls do not go into the sciences. For the real reason why girls don't go into the sciences, we need to look at Tesco and their lovely ad for toys in which they class the pink kitchen for girls and the science kit for boys. As long as we have moms who talk about things like girl jobs and boy jobs and stores who talk about things like girl toys and boy toys and bookstores who talk about things like girl books and boy books, we will not have girls who want to go into science. Not because girls don't like science and not because girls aren't good at science, but because our culture tells them they're not supposed to want to do that. Number three in this week in stupid kids with guns. And I'm not just talking about kids accidentally finding mom or dad's gun stash. I'm talking about like actual kid guns, like marketed for kids, kid size, because you know, that's a smart idea. Last Tuesday, a five-year-old boy who had been given a child size made for children gun for his birthday in November accidentally shot and killed his two-year-old sister. And yes, this is tragic and this is horrible and this is awful and it should never happen again and it shouldn't have happened in the first place. But part of me is also kind of thinking, ding, 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 Darwin Award. Because seriously, what kind of dumbass parent thinks it's a good idea to give a five-year-old a deadly weapon? What I find really interesting about all of this is that we think it's really bad and horrible for McDonald's to market their fattening food to children by putting toys in the Happy Meals and making their ads all children friendly and having Ronald McDonald the Clown be all like, hey kids, come to my restaurant. But yeah, put a deadly weapon made for children into the hands of a five-year-old, sure, no problem, that's not a big deal at all. And on top of that, the county sheriff, when he spoke to reporters, said, well, accidents happen with guns and it sucks. Which is why you don't give them to children. The other thing that baffles me about this is that charges have not yet been brought against his parents. Because, you know, leaving a loaded weapon where a kid can reach it is totally no problem, right? Ugh. It's been this week in stupid and sad and frustrating. If you like my videos and want to see more, you can subscribe at youtube.com slash user slash Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.